hello guys welcome back now in this tutorial we'll see how exactly java works now let's suppose if i create a file let me create uh, let me yeah, let me create one more file here so let me say uh, this time i will say demo work dot java and let me save this and in this we'll do some very basic thing like demo work and we'll say public static oh it's void main and in brackets we'll say string it's a oh, lots of typos so now and this what we can do is we can just print system dot system dot out dot print ln and and we'll do very basic thing called as hello world right it's very simple now we'll see how it ex how exactly it works so let when i save this file i have i'm saving this file in a folder in a folder i don't know which folder uh, study we have java tutes with java tutes yeah, java tutes and this i have a file called as ja uh, demo work right so i have one file called as demo demo work so you can see i have only one file called the demo work here and when I go back now, this time let me just compile this. So when I say Java C demo work, when I say enter, once you get the compiled file, and then you will get a class file out of it. Now this class file is act it's actually your byte code. So now if you remember the first video in which I have in have which in which I have. Uh, I will inform you that whenever you create a .java file, you have to write your code here. Then when you compile this file, you will get a .class file. Now this .class file is so secure, when you, when you open it also with some, uh, with some readable applications, you can see you will get something which is you know, encrypted way. So you, you, should, you will not able to see exactly what this means, but it's a content, it's a byte code in which you will be having all these bytes you know all this uh, binary formats and when you run when you run it so if i run this if i say demo work now this thing will run this dot class file and i say enter it's it's working right so there's nothing to do with this your file name when you're running your application when you compile your application dot java file matters when you run your application dot class file matters right it's very simple now there is there is a myth you know that it's they, they say your class name should be same as your file name right in fact uh, i told you earlier that it should be same but it's a myth your class name it's not compulsion to be same as your file name so let's suppose if i make it as demo work one so it should not work right so it should not work so when i say let me let me just remove this file let me just delete this class file now because i will i will create this file again so let's delete yes now if i compile this so compile it's java c let me let me let me let me check if it's working oh, it's working i'm sure it's working now so java c and we'll say demo work dot java and enter now it is getting compiled okay now this time we'll see when you run this application you have to use a class name and class name is not demo work it is demo work one and you're getting the output right so it's not compulsion to have a class name same as file name but but there's a twist what if your class is public you can have your class as public which says you can access this class from anywhere in this case in this case in this case now if i compile this now if i say demo work dot java this time it will give me an error it says class demo work one is a is public should be declared in a file named demo work one dot java it means any public class should have a same uh, class with same name as file name now if i make it as demo work it will work that's working and to run this we'll say java oh, it's not demo work it's java demo work 
Now why we are getting output for this because we have already created a dot class file. If I delete this file and if I run this it will not work right demo demo work will work right since it is its name is work it will work and a batcher but uh, this is your output right so this is how you implement uh, this is how your Java normally works uh, one thing it's very important here let's suppose if I want to add some comments if I want to add a comment like this is my main function, right? it should not be compiled. You know, when you talk about comments, the, the, uh, that statement should not be compiled by your compiler. And to add comments, it's, it's, it supports multi-line comment in this way. You might be knowing about C language. This is called as multi-line comment in which you can have multiple comment statements, right? But what if you want to go for only, if you want to go for one-line comment? So for that one-line comment, what we can do is we can just use double slash. And we'll say main method, right? Now this statement will not be executed or will not be compiled by your Java C. So when you compile this, when you when you when you when you run this, there is no problem with this line. So this is how you add comments. So that's it for this video. From this video, for the remaining videos, we'll stay tuned and do subscribe for the further videos.